I've got one thing to say about divorcing a narcissist. That is a buzzword that when you go into your lawyer's office, it's going to make their ears start to ring. Here's what I mean. So many people are using that word right now, a narcissist, that in, in my experience, when I hear other family law or divorce lawyers talk about this, they sort of are like, oh yeah, I bet they're divorcing a narcissist, huh? Uh-huh, sure. Everybody's a narcissist. Tens don't marry twos, honey. That's what they're going to say. I know there's a lot of literature and stuff about th that out there on the internet, and I know that it's for real. Trust me. Okay, I understand that divorcing a narcissist is a whole entirely different thing. This video is not about that. It's really about the way you're gonna show up at your future divorce lawyer's office talking about divorcing a narcissist. Because, and, and, and try not to be too hard on the divorce lawyers about this, because the deal is, in their life, they deal with so many different people every day of the week for however many years they've been doing this. And you're, you're picking an experienced lawyer, so like, it's been a while. And and over time, our brain uses those psychological um, heuristics, right? Remember that from like Psych 101? It are these mental shortcuts to make decisions. It's how you decide like when to go left, when to go right, what to eat for lunch or whatever, okay?